The Suhoi Su 47 inches Burkitt, meaning Golden Eagle, remains one of the most fascinating and futuristic aircraft ever built by Russia. Even in 2025, this experimental jet stands out as a symbol of innovation, daring engineering, and advanced aerodynamics. Today, we'll explore the story of the 2025 Suhoi Su 47 Burkitt, its origins, technology, design, and legacy, and how this one-of-a-kind aircraft helped shape the future of Russian fighter jets. Welcome to your channel name, where we dive deep into the world's most advanced military vehicles and aircraft. The Su-47 wasn't just another prototype, it was a bold leap into the unknown. Developed by the Suhoi Design Bureau during the 1990s, the Burkitt was a revolutionary project that experimented with forward-swept wings, a design rarely seen on fighter jets. This unique configuration gave it exceptional agility, high maneuverability, and incredible control at both high and low speeds. It was Russia's answer to exploring next-generation flight physics long before stealth aircraft like the Su-57 came into existence. At first glance, the Su-47 looks unlike any other jet. Its most defining feature, the forward-swept wings, immediately catches the eye. While most aircraft have wings that sweep backward to reduce drag at high speeds, the Su-47's wings curve forward, pulling air toward the fuselage instead of pushing it away. This design drastically improved lift and maneuverability, especially at high angles of attack. The trade-off, however, was extreme stress on the airframe, which demanded advanced composite materials to prevent the wings from twisting or breaking during high-speed maneuvers. Underneath its sleek and futuristic exterior, the Su-47 was powered by twin after-burning D-30F6 engines, the same power plants used in the legendary MIG-31 interceptor. These engines gave the Burkitt a top speed of around Mach 1.6 and an operational range of roughly 3,300 kilometers. Although not the fastest jet of its time, the Su-47 was designed to test aerodynamic performance and agility, not to break speed records. Its supermaneuverable nature was the true focus of its design. The cockpit of the Su-47 introduced advanced digital avionics that were ahead of their time in the late 1990s and early 2000s. It featured a glass cockpit with multifunctional displays, digital flight controls, and an advanced fly-by-wire system. The aircraft's computer systems constantly adjusted control surfaces in real-time to maintain stability, a necessity due to its unconventional wing layout. For the pilot, this meant smoother handling and unmatched precision during extreme maneuvers. In flight, the Su-47 demonstrated incredible capabilities. It could perform tight turns at high speeds, maintain control at extreme angles of attack, and even recover smoothly from post-stall conditions. The forward swept wing allowed it to remain stable during high-G maneuvers that would typically cause instability in conventional fighters. These tests proved the value of supermaneuverability, a feature that would later become a key focus in the development of advanced Russian jets like the Su-35 and Su-57. But the Su-47 was more than just a flight experiment, it was a testbed for the technologies that would define Russia's fifth-generation fighters. Engineers used it to study new materials, stealth coatings, and electronic warfare systems. Many of the lessons learned from the Burkitt were directly applied to the Suhoi Su-57 program. In many ways, the Su-47 was the missing evolutionary link between the Su-27 family and the modern stealth fighters of 2025. The aircraft's design also featured canards, small forward wings near the cockpit, which worked together with the main wings to enhance lift and control. This combination of canards and forward-swept wings gave the Burkitt incredible agility and made it capable of performing aerobatic maneuvers that no other fighter in the world could replicate at the time. At airshows, it left audiences speechless with its sharp turns, tight loops, and gravity-defying control. Despite its success as a research platform, the Su-47 never entered mass production. Russia's economic struggles in the 1990s limited the funding needed to develop it further, and the aircraft's complex structure made it too expensive for large-scale manufacturing. The high costs of maintenance and materials also made it impractical for combat deployment. However, this didn't mean the project was a failure. On the contrary, the Su-47 fulfilled its purpose as a test aircraft, 
proving new technologies that would define the next era of Russian aviation. Even today, in 2025, the Su-47 remains a legend among aviation enthusiasts and engineers. Its influence can clearly be seen in the Su-57 